All right, so we're walking uh, up Bartlett Ravine from Lake Michigan. It's about a three quarters of a mile walk. And Open Lands has been working on this project for about four years now. And we think about it in three phases. Um, one is the uh, ecological restoration. Uh, the second is, uh, is education. And the third is site development, which includes our trails and overlooks. Um, the restoration work um, has involved identifying and removing invasive plant material, uh, mostly Norway ma maple, buckthorn, uh, honeysuckle, and, um, and uh, repopulating uh, the area with uh, native forbs and grasses that will stabilize the slope. The whole main point of the restoration is to get a lot of light down onto the slopes, still maintain the tree canopy, and stabilize the slopes with native forbs and grasses. Uh, the second piece of restoration is dealing with stormwater, and our main focus is to think about rain as a resource, that we want it, the rain that falls here to stay here, um, we want to capture it on the upland, infiltrate it into the ground, and have it benefit the plants uh, that, are, that are native to this area. Uh, what we don't want to do is capture all that water, put it in a pipe, and send it with all of its sediments and, and uh, pollution into Lake Michigan. So a main focus of the restoration has been dealing with rainwater and stormwater. Um, the educational piece uh, involves uh, bringing uh, school groups out. So it's actually curriculum-based education where fourth to sixth graders have been uh, doing some work in the classroom, studying ecology, studying about science and plants and then coming out to the site to uh, observe what's going on actually on a physical property. So they study the plant material, they study the slopes, they study erosion, they look at the lake, uh, they do some drawings, and uh, generally it's sort of a hands-on uh, experience on site that supports their classroom work. Uh, the other piece of our education is to provide uh, some, some artist installations where we get people through art to think about the richness of the site. So the lake is just not one color of blue, the forest is not just one color of green, but it's multiple colors. And so we put in some uh, color poles working with the artists uh, to show the range of color that's uh, in the lake or the range of color that you find in the forest. Uh, we're also going to have some art installations that talk about erosion, uh, the soil microbes, and just how we as a culture interface with the landscape. Um, the last piece that we want, we, we, uh, how we think about the site is how people have access to the site. We're actually walking on a paved road that goes up to the, the bottom of Bartlett Ravine. And that road has, provides great access for people down to the lake shore and it provides them a way to be in the ravine as opposed to just above the ravine looking down at it. Uh, access for us uh, is uh, critically important. And what's great about this road, and what will be great about all the trails that we build, is that uh, they're all accessible to the disabled. So um, everybody can use the property, whether you're pushing a baby carriage or riding a bike, you'll have access to the property. Uh, we're going to build some overlooks. Uh, we're actually going to build a bridge across one of the uh, uh, ravine bases uh, and provide uh, a way for people to enjoy both the upland areas as well as, in the case of Bartlett Ravine here, to be down in the ravine and enjoy the, uh, uh, the ravine itself.